Hello all you model building enthusiasts out there. Uh, just to catch up on my uh, Kenworth. This will be my seventh video on this build and um, just to get you guys uh, caught up with what I'm doing. Unfortunately again I've uh, not been spending too much time on it and then as much time as I'd like. This year has been kind of a little bit crazy. Um, I've had a lot of other things to take care of and I haven't been able to get down here in my hobby area to get more done but uh, I want to catch you up on what I have done anyway um, there's some other things that um, I wanted to mention that I forgot to mention on some of the things that I have already done so anyway uh, here we go <clears throat> And here's my chassis. Get in there a little bit better. Now I've got the plates on top of the uh, frame glued down, except for in the back area here. I'm probably going to have to disconnect this piece here and. <clears throat> Cut it off and put a separate piece. I tried to bend it and have it come down, but it's starting to crack. So there's a crack right here. As you can see, it's probably right here. There's my crack. <clears throat> and I got my toolbox glued, not glued on, I'm sorry, taped on so you could see what they would look like when, on the frame. And here they are. Pretty much completed. I'm going to take the battery box chrome diamond plating and attach them here. I got an extra set, so I'm going to put that on here. I've been looking at it and uh, they look a little bit too far out, so I'm probably going to shorten these steps up just a little bit more. Like I said, uh, you can see the X pattern in a door and I put handles on and I got my tanks mounted and I ran the fuel lines to the tanks now here's one of the things that I forgot to mention about my fuel tanks these straps are made out of plastic and one of the things that happened when I tried to glue them on with the super glue is the super glue would not stick to the polished aluminum so I had to scratch up points on the tank to get the straps to stick to the tank so if you're gonna do something like this uh, super glue won't stick to polished aluminum so you're definitely gonna have to scratch up the surface a little bit to get it to adhere and I got my battery boxes attached now. I didn't want to put the chrome on those yet because I don't want to get fingerprints and all over those. So those will go on sometime before I'm finished with it. And here I've got the front suspension suspended by little clothespins. Now I'm not going to put the front wheels on this until I'm getting really close to it being finished with the with it being steerable, I don't want to have something happen where I'm handling it and hit it or pull it or do something that's going to damage my steerage. And as you can see, I can still probably get it to move. Of course I got the um, filler on the radiator, I put it where I wanted to, I offset it, and I've got the connectors for the radiator hoses on there. Now this is just painted masking tape, and I used some glue to keep them from coming apart, but I thought it was a pretty good idea. And the other thing is, I haven't attached the um, turbo yet to the uh, radiator. 
I still have to do that. <clears throat> Just got up a little while ago, so my th throat is a little raspy. And the same thing with this side. And the um, where I connected the fuel lines, those are just uh, police car pump caps. And there's my fillers, the Enterprise shuttle doors. And here's the other battery box. And again, I just taped them to the frame. I haven't attached them yet. I wanted you guys to see what it would look like on the frame. And that's pretty much it for the uh, for the chassis right now. And I've kind of been in the middle of uh, getting some other stuff ready to go. I've got uh, now. Here's what I ran into a problem is I ran into a problem with the chroming system that I was using, and it didn't work out. So I ended up having to use all Alclad chrome for all my chroming, and um, unfortunately. It's not the route I wanted to go, but it looks like it's the route I'm going to have to. So here's my headlights. I chrome those. And the supports for the radiator. And I chrome those. And I'm getting ready to put on the back wheels. The front wheels will stay off, but I've got I'm getting them prepared. And I come over here. Now I did some uh, experimenting with with another set of tires, and I wanted to see how the tires would look if I put a little bit of shine on them. And I used uh, I tried a couple of different methods, and I used uh, floor polish to get the uh, sidewall to look a little shinier. This side actually came out a little bit better. It's not as shiny, but um, after looking at it, I decided against it. I'm just going to leave them, leave them alone. Now I'm going to need these tires for my trailer when I build my trailer, and I'm pretty sure just a little bit of ammonia will take this off. It's just wax. So I'll clean them up. I spent a little time yesterday just taking care of my tires and getting all the foam in them to fill them out so they don't look like they're not just lining up against the wheels. And uh, <clears throat> One of the things I use to get all of these um, fillers in the center out were just a pair of wire cutters. And what I did was I just pressed the wire cutters. If I can put my phone down here so I can show you kind of like what I did here. I used a pair of these. And basically, what you want to do is just kind of like take the wire cutters and just press it right up against the edge of the wheel, and that'll cut it off. In the frame here. Well, anyway, it's hard to do with recording with a phone here, but you get the idea, just used a pair of these. And here's everything that I chromed. Now I'm probably going to have to go back and do a couple of these rear wheels. Um, some stuff did get on them. As you can see here, there's a lot of 
I don't know if it was dust or plastic or something that got on them, but I'm probably going to sand them and redo them again. And I did my steering wheel, my gas and my uh, brake pad pedals. Those are chromed. These are all my lug nuts. I'm going to eventually end up chroming those and putting those all on. And my radiator. Now, I'm not going to chrome my radiator until I've attached it to my uh, my hood. And I like the way this came out. It came out pretty good as far as getting this ready for chrome. But I'm going to attach this first to the nose and then mask it off and then chrome it so I don't have to worry about handling it. So, <clears throat> let's see how that looks after it's done. And now, I haven't touched my sleeper in a year, and it's a good thing I hadn't because I'm noticing certain things that are happening to it that are going to have to be touched up. And uh, I don't know if I can get it in this camera shop, but if you can see here, this is a bubble, and it's kind of a little bit of warpage there, so I'm going to have to clean that up get that cleaned up and um, my wall is starting to look like it's starting to do a little warping here so I'm going to take a piece of the strap that I use for the frame and reinforce it to get it keep, keep it straight and I have the same thing going on on the other side over here where I've got some uh, I don't know where it is but I found another flaw here it is again and a spot where I'd already patched it up and it's and it's bubbling up here again so I'm hoping that this will stop eventually before I go ahead and spray paint it and to kind of like give you an idea of what it'll look like once it's on the frame I put it on the frame here. There's a sleeper on the frame. And like I said, my steps on my toolboxes stick out a little too far, so I'm probably going to have to trim them down a little bit. so I can get it to go around here, but but it's coming along and I'm still at it just not as much as I'd like to be and here's my uh, air hose for the for the uh, trailer I'm going to attach it to the back of the sleeper and run lines off the back of the sleeper. Anyway, that's pretty much it for now. The next thing to do is get the wheels on and I want to build fenders for over the wheels. I ran out of the plastic, the thick gauge plastic that I was going to use to wrap around the wheels. And I'm still debating on whether or not I want to chrome those fenders or if I'm going to paint them uh, the same color as the truck. I'm leaning towards painting them the same color as the truck. I don't want to go with too, too much chrome because it could be a little overkill. Anyway, that's it for now and uh, I'll have more for you in about a month. Until then, keep enjoying your builds. Bye for now.